today. Right now in the villages, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has partly sunny weather with a high of 86 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. Welcome everyone, good morning. It is Saturday morning and it's a beautiful day in the villages. Um, welcome, we're here every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. And I don't know, I feel really good today. How are you guys? I love chatting with you in the beginning before the, ch before the video goes live. Everyone is here like a half hour early. Just chatting away. Um, what do I want to tell you? Oh, we have three giveaways. Two to announce the giveaways. One is like up to a $500 value that somebody has won. And that was from a design space class a few weeks ago. Told you uh, to comment, tell me what you want to win. The winner gets to choose what they win. And um, the hashtag, what I learned melody, you don't have to be live to enter that. I'm going to tell you who won this week, but you do have to watch the video to see who won each week. If it was you, you need to contact me. And then for those of you in the chat on YouTube, you have to go to, or you have to be in the chat to win random $25 giveaway. And um, if you're on Facebook, because we're also live on Facebook, in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, and in the group, Cricut Joy Machine and Projects with Melody Lane. So if you are on Facebook in either of those two groups and you chat, I can see your comment, but I can't see your name. Um, unless you click on that link I put above that says Restream, it will allow Restream to let me see your name. Also, we're on my public Facebook page, Melody Lane, and I can see your name, but if you guys are on Facebook, you won't be able to enter the $25 giveaway. So come to youtube.com slash Melody Lane. All right, are we ready? Uh, first, let's do this. Then we're going to go over the new images and design space really quickly. And then we're going to go to Pinterest to get some ideas. And I'm going to show you how to recreate them in design space. And even if you don't want these shirts, although I share them with you on YouTube in the chat, I will save them and share them with you. If you're on YouTube, you can get them. And, oh, the $500 giveaway. I need a few more likes before I tell you who wins. So make sure you click like if you're on a mobile device and you're in the chat, exit out of the chat, click the thumbs up, and then you can click on live chat to bring you back to the live chat so you can enter and chat and ask questions. If you have questions about Design Space, please put them in all caps so I can read them better. And while we're waiting for you to click like, let's go ahead and do the shout outs. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Laura, Andrea, Erica, Joy, Darlene, Sharon, Michelle, Faith, Jen, Sheila, Therese, Linda, Denise, Leslie, Amy, Cynthia, Carrie, Lori, Bobby, Maria, Connie, Casey, Kim, Debbie, Robin, Freddie, Wanda, Lori, Amber, Kathy, Kathy, Patricia, Holly, Casey, Jessie Mae, and Teresa. And a huge thank you to my VIPs. Okay, guys, I just got a message that I said 8 a.m. Eastern. It's 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, every Saturday. Okay, and somebody asked who he is. It's Elon Musk. Uh, he's just amazing and trying to save the world, and I appreciate him. So he stands behind me once in a while. Sometimes he scares me when someone moves him around my house. Okay, let's get to design space. That's not design space. There we go. Okay. Um, 
So here's where you go to get new images. I am asked every week, how do I get my old cartridges? Where do I see image sets? So you're on the canvas. Click on images right here. And somebody also said this week in one of the Facebook groups, I don't have image sets any longer. All I have is this. If this is what you see, when you click on images, all you have to do is click on all images, click on image sets. If you are on a mobile device, you will have to click highlighted categories. I think it's the second one down. And then once you hit highlighted categories, you'll have these four options with image sets be in the bottom. Okay, so this is not a new image set. For some reason, this is always on the top of mind. Now we have basketball designs. There's 48 images of basketball designs. Uh, favorite animals. There's 40 images. Okay, I can't say that word. Chinosaur? I, I don't know what that word is. I, I've heard it, but I can't think of it. So there are 87 does images. I have not, these weren't here when I looked last. 87 of these images. I like that butterfly. And the, look at the butterflies and the birds and the flowers. Oh, I can't wait to open that up. Celtic Designs, 78 images. Oh, that tree is really cool. There's 78 images. All you have to do is click on it. And because you see this green A, this means these are included in uh, Access. India icons, Pura masks, 15 images, and then Pura masks printables, five images. So actually all you see are these five. This one has 15, it's probably the same five but these are printable, these would be layered, and then this is also drawing. Okay, I just was told it's chin, we swear, chin, oh, I missed it. <laughs> uh, this one is drawing, and this one is one layer of vinyl. And this is a very, very popular one. Drink your water. So these you put on the side of a water bottle uh, to help motivate you to drink your water. These are free in access. You have a choice of four of them. They're really cool. Everyday Mandala. You have them in drawing and layers and single layer. Chinoiserie. That's how you say it, I'm thinking. You guys are telling me in the chat. Uh, wedding celebrations, 56 images, and some of them are drawing, and some of them are vinyl. These that are um, like more solid, these would be great with infusible ink. These two that are more solid pieces, these black ones, those would be awesome. Oh, look at that peacock. These would be awesome with uh, infusible ink and then we have Guatemala designs astrological designs I love cupcakes 50 images these black ones would be great with infusible ink or it's just one layer of vinyl these would be one layer of vinyl but the middles are empty and these are more full it's like they're the negative parts more astrological signs, but these are printable. New baby phrases in Portuguese. Celtic animals. Be kind designs. There's 30 images. I love these. So they come like this, where you could do iron on or printable or infusible ink. Um, or just vinyl. And then they also are in drawn form. So we'll cut out the shape and then draw it out. And those would be great with uh, transfer foil. Ireland, cute characters. Very cute characters. There's 15 images. 
animal prints. And they're also in vinyl, like this would be vinyl, this would be vinyl, that would be vinyl, these would all be vinyl. You don't want to do those out of paper, you would have to piece it all together. But they also have the same images and drawing. Look at the peacock feathers. They will also have it like this where you would use vinyl. Yeah, that would be a great shirt that be kind. You've got to be joking. This is new too. Like all of these are new this week, but I looked at them yesterday and this was not there. There's 20 images. <laughs> we met on a dating site. I don't know what all of these say. You'll just have to come and look at them after class. Court gesture alphabet monograms. So they come with layers and for just uh, one layer and then drawing where it draws all the uh, detail in there. That would be really pretty with the foil transfer also. Eastern religious. These would be great for infusible ink, these black ones. And then all of these other ones, these would be drawing and these would be vinyl. Earth fairies. Oh, you got little mushroom houses and little fairies. There's 38 images. Construction vehicle printables, 22 images. Every type of coffee, 36. And I think we did these last week. So if you missed last week, here's 64 construction vehicles. Not printable. Best mom ever. These are beautiful. Split letters, kites. Okay. Um, there was also something else I forgot to tell you. Here's a shout out Whoops. to a few of the people who support. Sorry. So after this video today, we have a members only video. It is public. So if you're not a member of my channel, you can still watch it. But if you are a member of the YouTube channel, your name would be in green and you have a little badge and you have all those emojis and it starts at only 99 cents you will be able to chat. You will be the only ones available to chat except for the people in my Patreon Facebook group. So we will also be live in the Patreon Facebook group. And in that group, if you chat, we will also see you. And you'll have to fill out the little restream thing to see your name. But we will see your chat so you can ask questions. I don't know what that video is about. It's up to you guys. You can ask questions about Design Space. You can ask any questions you want. I don't know how long the video will be. We're just gonna see what happens. And we do that on the fourth Saturday every month after the Pinterest inspired class. It's just another extra perk for you guys. Okay, let's start with design space. Oh, let's start with Pinterest. So here's Pinterest. I typed in St. Patrick's Day shirts. And I got some of these. This one I really like. When I put the thing over it, you can't see it. The Shenanigator, isn't that cute? All you have to do is do a little curve and put a shamrock on it or just do a straight word and a shamrock. That's too easy to even share with you. Uh, I liked this one, this Lucky with the horseshoe and the arrow. So I would like to try to do this one and I also saw one I like. That's cute. Um, you just put dinosaur from design space and slice in that tracks. That wouldn't be hard at all. Um, you could also do lucky with the uh, shamrock as the U. There was one. Here it is. I really like this one with shamrocks in the shape of a shamrock. So I thought I would try to show you how to do that. And if you don't like shamrocks, you can do it with any shape in any image you want. You could do it with a heart, put them in the shape of a heart. Or butterflies, put them in the shape of a butterfly. So um, I wanna show you guys that. But first, let's go ahead and do this other one. The one up here, this Lucky. You guys like that one? I just wanna show you how easy this is. We're not gonna get that exact font unless we spend hours looking for fonts. So we're just gonna get a font. We're gonna put that there. 
I won't weld it so you guys can change it, but you guys can watch and see how to do it. So it's not that hard. I'm going to move this out of the way. That's the heat guide. Looking for my design space. There it is. So we're going to go back here and let's just go ahead and start with the font. So we're going to go to text. Please put your, um, I know we're not using the U. We're doing all capital. That just looks wrong. But we're going to find a font. I'm going to use a Cricut font. Um, yes, thank you, Sue, for reminding people to thumbs up the video. Oh, I forgot to tell you who won. Do you guys want to see who won the hashtag what I learned melody? You ready? Here's the winner. Boom, boom. Jane Dominiguez. I cannot speak today, so I'm sorry. So Jane has won. Uh, I search in Facebook and Instagram hashtag what I learned melody and it randomly chooses a winner. So she wins this. She will need to contact me. The way you enter this, you can enter at any time, even if you're watching the replay. If you share one of my videos, under the video, you can click the share button. You can copy and paste it to wherever you like in Facebook or Instagram. It will share this video, share the video you like, what you have to do is tell people what you learned in that video. So here she pasted the video link right here. She added the hashtag what I learned melody. That's how I find it. Make sure you share the video. Some of you have entered and have not shared the video. So you can enter as many times as you like with as many videos as you like. Just tell us what you learned. And so she needs to contact me, Jane. Don't know if you're here watching right now, but you need to contact me on my website or if you know my email or a message on Facebook, melodylaneinspired.com and go to contact. And then uh, tell me how you want your $25 through PayPal or Amazon and I'll need the email for that. So just wanted to get that winner out there. If you uh, like giveaways and winners, make sure you click the like button. Okay. We're looking for a font. And we're looking for the capital letter font. So what I'm looking at is the capital letters from these to see if I like them. This one's all capitals no matter what you use. I kind of like that one. Okay, so now we need a horseshoe. We're going to make this bigger. We're probably going to ungroup this so we have a little more room here for the horseshoe. But we're going to go to images and we're going to search horseshoe. Okay, we got lots of images to choose from. I think huh. oh look but we can't turn these upside down because the shamrock would be upside down but it's too this one's two layers we possibly could depends on how it's made You can really just choose, oh, look at that one. But it, I, I just want to see what it looks like. Okay. Um, 
I kind of like this one. And I like this one. So we have all these down here. We're just going to bring those in. Definitely needs to be smaller. Okay, now you guys are going to have to choose. I can't choose. This one, we're going to flip around this way. Oh no, I, I clicked the X. Because I'm used to this one being... This one might be fat. I mean, I can, let's ungroup this. And I'm gonna click on this and just move it over with the arrow keys. So we have that one. We have this one. And we have this one. And I'm gonna move this over more. So they will all fit better. And we can put this a different color if we like. Okay, so here's your choice. One, two, or three. The three has the flowers. One, two, or three. You tell me which one goes in here. Oh, man. You guys are all saying different ones. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'm seeing lots of threes and flowers and ones and twos. <laughs> all right, let's size these. This one will work like that. This Now we can change the color of these. This one will also work. And this one will work. I'll make this one a little bigger. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do this one, but these are sized i'm going to hide these so if you prefer these you can change the color of them you can do whatever you like the size will work with how i have it here so we're going to um hide it so if you if you prefer those because everyone has their own opinion uh you can bring those in um do you guys want this a different color like the picture? If you look at the shirt, the horseshoe is a different color. Okay, let's go ahead and bring in the shamrock and the arrow. And you could um, put the shamrock in the place of the U also. Oh, that's true. It depends on if you're a man or a woman. Yeah, the man probably does not want the lucky with the flowers. Okay, that's a simple shamrock. Shamrock cutie. I like that shamrock too. Now, I like the shamrock. I could just get rid of these other words very easily. It's probably in there already. We could take the four leaf clover too. There's another one. Okay, let's Oh, we've got the arrow. Thank 
you, Bobby. There's so many arrows. There's 1,205 arrows in Design Space. I like that one. And I like it going the other way. So we're going to click flip and flip horizontal. Has anybody learned anything yet today? Do we want a three leaf or a four leaf? I don't really like this one. We're going to move this to the back, that arrow. Um, and that's going the wrong way because the arrow is going the other way. It should be like that. Three, 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 four. Okay, I'll size them both. If you don't have access, you will be charged for these images if you don't own them. Okay, I'm gonna go with the three. So I hid the fourth one. Now, let's duplicate this. If you wanted to put this on exactly like this and you only wanted one layer, we could slice these. Oh wait, I'm gonna duplicate this arrow just in case we don't want it sliced. You could slice these and then remove that and remove that and remove that one. Then you could put this here. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. You can put it right there where it fits. And uh, then place that on there. Too small. Okay, these are garbage. We're gonna hide this. This is the arrow if you do not wanna worry about the slicing. Oh, wait a minute. I threw that. This one is not garbage because if you wanted to go through that, well, yeah, you don't really need this piece, but just in case, I'll hide it. I don't like that one. And we're going to hide this. And we're going to group this. That's just so we can move them together and size them together. And we're gonna group these, whoops. Wait a minute, let's move this out of the way. I'm going to attach these. So when these cut out, they will go uh, and do it correctly. I'm gonna click group and I'm gonna show you what happens if you're new to this or if you have this problem and you don't know why, the L is right here. It may be hard to see because it's black. The Y is here, the K and the C. These are not how you want it to cut. So we're going to cancel that. I'm going to ungroup this because, okay, I want to select this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, wait a minute. Are these grouped? I'm gonna, okay, those are grouped. So these were grouped when I hit make it and they did not stay the way I want them. What I'm gonna do is select all of these and because I have this grouped, they will stay like this on the canvas. This is the canvas. Only on the canvas does it stay that, that way. 
and it makes it easy for me to center it. So I'm going to center horizontally. So this is in between. And now that I have it centered, I'm going to select it all and I'm going to attach. So now I'm going to change the color just so you guys can see this better. I'm just going to make it yellow right now. I'm going to click make it. Because I attached it, it is like that. Okay. Okay, you guys, Joan is on a roll right now. I did not see what she says. I have to scroll up in the chat because everybody is laughing at Miss Super Klutz. Her real name is Joan. Oh, I can't see. I don't see where you said it. Where, where are you? Okay, what do you call a fake diamond on St. Patrick's Day? That is funny, Joan. A shamrock. <laughs> Good one, Joan. Had to share that. I saw too many people laughing. Okay, so we're going to put this here. And I'm going to zoom in. Now, oops, I don't want to move. Well, I can't move it like that. There. Now, if I want these to cut out the same color, this U and this shamrock, it's not a U, it's a, it's a horseshoe. I can select both of these, but when I select this, the lucky is being um, selected because it's on top. You know it's on top because it's at the top of the layers panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to click arrange and move it to the back. This way, I can click on that shamrock, hit the shift key, click on that um, horseshoe, and click attach. So now, when we go to make this, you're going to have a piece like this, and then you're going to have a piece like this. You won't have to um, worry about putting things in the right place place except for this but then that will automatically be in the right place if you don't like to do it this way maybe you want to save vinyl because you will be wasting a little bit of vinyl here all you have to do is select it and detach it and click make it and then you can I would move these a little bit away so you can cut that away then you can do it like that but oops I just moved this Select that and that and click attach. Okay, now I'm going to save this. I'm going to call it Lucky Horseshoe. That looks like Lucky Horse's Hole. It looks like it's spelled wrong, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to move this all up here so you can see it. Save that again. Okay, so now the next one I wanted to show you, because even if you don't want to do a shamrock, you can do it with other images, is the shamrock and having all the shamrocks inside the thing of a shamrock. And look at all these other things. Like this would be so easy to do Italian uh, one. And I've done these, I think I did these last year. That's cute. Two shamrock as eyes and then just a smiley. There's lots of smileys in design space. Okay, we're going to do the shamrock. So we're going to start with new. How many likes do we have on the video? Do we have enough to uh, see who won? We only have 281. We need at least 350 likes. Come on, guys. Okay. Um, we need a shamrock. And we're just going to do the... Why am I doing it two words? I 
kind of like this one. Let's see what this does. Okay, this has all these layers. Oh, they are, oh no, oh, these are attached. This one won't work, let me show you why. I knew these wouldn't work, but I knew it had a piece behind it, but these are welded together, so this one won't work. Um, possibly that one, possibly that one. Oh, this one's free. So even if you don't have access, it'll be free. Shall we try that? We don't have to have those holes. Oh, wait, we still have part of that other one in here. We want to get rid of that. Otherwise you'll be charged for this one in the layers panel. So we're going to unhide this one and get rid of that. I think we'll use this one. So what we need is kind of a template. Um, we could use different shamrocks to put inside it. Let's make it a little bigger. And we're going to hit contour. This is Bobby's big favorite feature. We're gonna get rid of those holes. And now we have a salad, a salad. We have a salad of shamrocks. Have you guys ever eaten shamrocks in a salad? Me neither. I'm gonna make this yellow. And we are going to duplicate this Make that one green. I'll make this one a little bigger. And we're gonna fill this with shamrocks. Now you could use different shamrocks if you want. We're just gonna use the same one, but we're gonna flip some different what I could do is just duplicate the flipped one. Duplicate this one. Take one, move it a little, duplicate that one. Take one, move it a little, duplicate that one. And then we're just gonna place them inside on a yellow piece. And I'm going to zoom in here and put them as close to the edge as we can. And you know what else I might do that I really like um, doing? To make it look more like a shamrock, I like to add a shape. We could make like Lucky Charms with stars and rainbows. And kind of follow this. to kind of get that shape better. The t-shirt didn't have that done this way, but you can, um, these are all going up the same way. We need some different ones in here. So this is what we're going to do is just keep doing this. We need some more circles, put some circles in here. Now we, we're going to do them all the same color. So they will be green, the dots, but that will just fill in spots. How do you know how big to make it so it fits on a shirt? Uh, 
I think seven inches wide will fit on most shirts unless it's for a kid, then just make it smaller. You can just drag it and make it any size you like. You can measure the shirt and see how big of how big you want it on the shirt. That's the same. Uh, let me move some of these closer. Just so I can see them better, we're going to have to duplicate one or two. And I can just duplicate this whole set. Well, I can't grab it now that it's on here. There, duplicate. Uh, spin some, duplicate. I'm just moving them out of the way so I can see what we got. You can also just move them this way too. We want some more circles in here. I feel like I need a circle here. And we're just gonna move around the shamrock, not with the same one. I'm going to flip this one and duplicate that. And I can duplicate that because we're going to need a lot. <laughs> I want to flip this one. Bring this one down a little. And just fill in. You can do different size circles if you want. I want to go around the edge. It kind of outlines the edge. Yeah, you can make confetti with these shamrocks with the party foil. Could you duplicate half a leaf, flip it, and um, Fill the other half. Can you duplicate half a leaf? Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Like, do like half of this and then copy and paste it to the other half. Uh, let's try that with a whole leaf. I need more circles. These circles will look better too when they match. I think the same color. Uh, oh, I don't like this one because it's the same as that one. I like a variety. And you know what? Kind of like this one cut off there. That might be hard to cut to get that perfect. 
but if I had more time, I might do that. You know what? I could do that. <gasps> Just got an idea. These are on the edge. I'm going to move some of them off the edge. We could slice this and cut these off. What do you think? Should we do that? I don't know. Like that. Um, let's do Let's move these out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna hide this for now. Can you see how this would look like that once that is cut off? See, if we have some of these around the edge, it'll look more like it without having to have the circles too. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is, for right now, I'm gonna group this. I'm gonna copy it, or no, I'm just gonna duplicate it. There's no reason to copy and paste when you can duplicate. Okay, now we're going to find the yellow one. We're going to bring it back. And we have this one that we could... Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Because these are not exactly the same, of course. But oh wait, we we don't want them going the wrong way. We want them all going the same way. So here's what I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do that. Duplicate it. going the same way. We're going to ungroup these and we're going to just duplicate a section. Do it like that. This one we'll get rid of. Whoops. Uh -huh. Whoops. Undo. You go back to where you were. Oh, undo. That is at the bottom, right? I can't select these now because it's selecting this. Okay, we're just gonna place the rest in here. We'll move these over here. We don't need to contour them out. We can just move them, exit them. You can't contour. You can only contour one image, and right now it's only one image. Um, we're gonna ungroup. So we no longer need them grouped. Go ahead and put circles in here. Kind of like it with the circles. Okay, don't want those both. Oh, it's selecting that instead. 
gonna move that up. Okay, click the shamrock. down to that line. We'll move this guy over. I don't want any of these circles touching the shamrocks because we're going to weld them. We're welding the shamrocks and the circles together because we're going to slice through this. Do you guys hear Kobe snoring, my dog? How many likes do we have? I'm just gonna put that on the edge. You could also make these different sizes if you like, too. These are getting crowded where these are not so crowded. So I'm gonna separate it. Okay, we have enough likes to see who won the $500 giveaway. Uh, So if you guys are on Facebook, you really need to come over to YouTube and chat. And if you haven't chatted in the last 10 minutes, you're going to need to chat something in the chat in order to be entered. I'm going to move this over. We're going to duplicate this. Okay. Do you guys want to see who won? Hold on, I lost her. There she is. Congratulations, Lori Burgess. You have won an Easy Press large, Easy Press mat. As long as these things are in stock and some infusible ink and maybe some glitter iron on. Congratulations. Uh, contact me through my website um, and I will try to contact you too. And good luck next time. If you guys are not familiar with my channel, every month, uh, sometimes I do it on Facebook, sometimes it's YouTube. Lately it's been a lot of YouTube. I give away $500 worth of Cricut product every month. Sometimes it's in more than one giveaway. Sometimes it's in other places. Um, I just feel like this is crowded here. I don't want that circle there. I want them to touch. Okay. How are we looking? Look at all these extras. Don't think we need those, but let me just move them. I'm going to um, Put a few of these over here. I'm just going to group these together and we're going to hide those. That way if we need some extras we have them. I'm 
I'm going to hide this so we have that also if we need to make any changes. I'll just exit that. We have others. So let me make this smaller so you guys can see it. Uh, because once I weld these, you won't be able to move them again. Okay. Now I'm going to hide the yellow one. Huh. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Some of these on the outside like that will be sliced. But can you tell that's a shamrock? And the black dots might throw you off. What we can do is do that, select them all, and click green so they're all the same color. I need another hole. Do you guys like that? Hide a four, four leaf clover in there somewhere. Great idea. <laughs> Thank you for that idea. Okay. about right here it will be the same color and we'll also duplicate that and hide it just in case we want it for something else let's make that the same color like it looks kind of bigger let's not make it bigger How's that? Okay, so now we're going to weld these, but I can't grab it all. Let's make it smaller. We're gonna weld them. It didn't weld. There it goes. Just takes a while because it's so much. Now we're going to bring this back, and now we're going to slice. Okay. So now I'm just going to hide this, and we're going to pull away this excess. Do you guys like this? Let me make it, whoops, make it bigger. Oh man. Okay, we don't want this one. There we go. Doesn't that look cool? Now you can do this with any images. We better save this. Shamrocks in Shamrock. And you guys, this took me less than 30 minutes to do. All right, let me go to my projects. 
you guys still hang around if you're on Facebook you need to come over here in order to get this okay I have to I'm gonna share the lucky horseshoe first And then let me get this link. I'm getting these links and putting them in my notes. Okay, now we're going to, um, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna do the giveaway. Mr. Nightbot, he is ready for the giveaway. He is going to choose somebody for the $25 giveaway. And then I will share these in the YouTube chat. Woohoo, Bobby, thank you. Uh, Nightbot shares the giveaways, I don't, so. Oh my gosh, I think she won, or maybe she won in my virtual chat before. She is so, so sweet, you guys. So the winner of this has won $25 from me before. I don't remember if it was in my virtual chat or from a giveaway video like this, but uh, she donated the money that she won before to my birthday giveaway, which was so sweet and doing such a good deed like that. It brings good things and it brings good things to her because she won again. But this time, I don't want it for my birthday. I want to give it to her because she deserves it. Kimberly Hanlon. Woohoo. Thank you, Debbie. Welcome. So Kimberly, uh, email me if you want PayPal or Amazon. I am Kimberly, I think you deserve it. Um, you've done your good deed. So I think you deserve it. Okay, now do you guys want, I gotta move the chat from this screen to this screen. Okay, I'm gonna share the link now. The first one is the lucky. So you guys will have to click the link and you save it into design space. And I will share them a few times. There it is. And then here's the shamrock. I, you can read the word shamrock and And the shamrock should be completely free even if you don't have access. I don't know if it's free forever or if it's just free right now. And if you don't like the one that I made, you now know how to make your own. You could make it with hearts or butterflies or anything you like. Here's the lucky one again. Uh, Vicki Nolan has a question. How do you use this? Iron-on or infusible ink? You could do either one. And here's the shamrock again. And there's a delay. So if I say here's the shamrock again, it's probably already been posted. Oh, I forgot to check it. Whenever I make a project, I always check it by clicking make it to see what happens. So we're gonna click make it. There we go. It works. 
If you want it a different size, all you have to do is resize it to the size that you want. Bobby, you are so sweet. Thank you so much, Bobby. And I'll share them again. These will also be later on Melody Lane Designs or Melody Lane Inspired. So I will show you. Oh, that's me. I meant to have you here uh, to get my projects. Now there is a new one. This does not show all my projects. It shows a lot of them. Uh, if you do not support my channel and you want to see what kind of projects that I share, you can click on start here and you can scroll down and you can see some of my projects. They're in alphabetical order. You can search. You can also filter by, there's tons of um, different kinds of carbs that you can choose from by type and then themes. So like these are like by occasion. Uh, and different things like that. There's also new. But if you are a supporter, you have to click on supporter projects. Put in the password that I give you and hit go. And so this one, the uh, St. Patrick's Day ones we just did, they will be under new and they will also be under St. Patrick's Day. Let's see what I have already for St. Patrick's Day. Yep, this is one that we did last year in a Pinterest inspired, inspired video. Also, this one, today I'd be, oh, I forget what that says. I don't remember what that says. Here's a paper wreath. I love this rainbow card that kind of pops open. Oh, we did this last year. This is real cute. It says Pinch Charming. So I do have those from past years, too. And then I'll add this one. Yay, Bobby's making a hot air balloon today. Debbie Hobbs just came in today with membership. So if you click under the video, you'll see, see perks. And then you uh, can also click um, to see your perks. And it takes you to my community page. And you can scroll down to find the password. So it'll be um, in the membership post and you'll see secret password. What is the other part that we can go on and become a member? Oh, it says today I be Irish. That's what it says. Um, so if you click on start, whoops, I'm on the wrong screen. Start here. And this is MelodyLaneInspired.com. And then um, usually if you're a supporter, it says become or it says open. So it just opens it in design space. But here that will take me take you to my uh, Patreon page instead. So just click the become a supporter. And it only takes $2 a month, or it's only $21 for the entire year. And you don't have to worry about it coming out of your account every month. Thank you, Patreon, for changing it to being able to have annual membership. And you get a discount for annual membership. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there is a new update in Design Space. It's 6.5.92. I don't have it yet. I'm usually the last one to get it. Uh, they do their updates in a seven day rollout. That way they can watch and see if there's any bugs and fix them right away. 
and I can show you what that does in design space. So if you have the 6.5, I have 6.4, but if you have a 6.5, look over here, there is another button. It says what's new. And what that does is it tells you what's new in each of the updates. So there's gonna be a lot more updates coming and they're, you're gonna love them. Okay, Judy Heckbart wants to know, how, can you show, I don't have a camera on my machine right now. So I can't actually show you, but I can tell you, when your machine is finished cutting, the unload button is blinking. So you have to ignore that unload button. I've done this where I'm going to ignore that button and then click the button next to it and it will cut again. One time I'm like, okay, I gotta hit the cut button. And that my finger went to the um, unload button and click that. Once you unload it, you can't really cut it again. Sometimes my fingers have a mind of their own and I'm thinking click that button and my finger goes to the wrong button. Do you guys ever do that? Um, so yes, the button with the cricket on it, just cut it again. Ignore the blinking button. All right, so are you guys ready for the bonus video? Uh, that can be anything you guys want it to be, but only members with the green A can uh, be in the chat. It will uh, YouTube will only allow that, and then uh, because I want to include my Patreon supporters, you have to go to the Patreon Facebook group, and I will be live in there. Now, if you want to see the chat on YouTube, you can also have YouTube open if you have different devices or anything to see the full chat. Uh, but I can only see your chat if you're in the Facebook group on Patreon. Let me ask, answer a few more questions. Oh, and if your arrow is blinking and won't stop, just ignore it. People were saying that was a problem and it was bothering them and I'm like, oh, mine, mine's just blinking for days now. It just blinks. They'll probably fix that in an update. Yeah, the load button will just keep blinking. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna set up the next video. Everybody, the public, if you're not supporting this channel can watch that video. You just can't chat. You will be able to comment after the video if you want to. This is just a bonus benefit for those people who support my channel. How do you get to the Patreon page? If you are a Patreon supporter, I emailed you or messaged you a link to that page um, when you signed up. Uh, on your game you made Thursday night, if you guys missed it, I made a little maze. Uh, did you have to cut the craft board more than once? I did not. I just put it on the craft board setting and it cut it twice. All right. Bye, guys.